Hey guys, this is a 2015 uh, BMW 428i Grand Coupe. Uh, just got done with the full brake job. Uh, front brakes were done about a week ago. Um, unfortunately, the rear brakes, when I received them, they were too small. The rotors were too small. They weren't fitting on the spindle itself. So I had to wait a week. And so here we are. Um, just got done with just installing the rotor and the uh, bracket. I just wanted to make a quick video and exactly show you guys how to do this uh, rear brake job. It's very simple. I just gotta make sure you guys have the proper uh, tools, uh, etc., to get this done. Um, tools, obviously, you're going, you're going to be needing are two Allen keys. One's a five sixteenth. That's for the uh, caliper, and the other one's a six millimeter for the rotor bolt right here. Uh, just be careful when you're taking this out. You want to make sure you have the right key to get in there and use it. This sometimes is stuck in there, and when you're going to take it out, you don't want to strip the inside. Once you do get that strip, you just want to make sure uh, uh, you're careful when taking that out. Um, and then you have two bolts back here. Um, there's one over here, and there's two over here. They're both 16 millimeter. I tried a 15 millimeter. It doesn't fit. 16 does. Um, so. Obviously, lefty loosey, uh, righty tighty, get that out. Once you get the, obviously, the two caliper bolts out, which looks like this, um, you are gonna take the the bracket bolts out, which are 60 millimeter. And once you get that out, uh, you can get this rotor out. Uh, it's very simple, very simple setup. Um, other cars I've worked on, uh, you know, they're a little complicated. This was fairly easy. You get. Obviously, remove two bolts uh, from the caliper. Uh, you do have a bracket that goes on top uh, that holds the brakes, uh, the caliper and the bracket together. Let me show you the other side really quick. What you, what you want to do is, this is an aftermarket one. There's a BMW one, uh, which I use this one because it's a little stronger than the other one. Uh, and so it's on here pretty well, good. Um, Get this out. Uh, it's fairly easy. Just make sure you hold a use a plier to get hold this and and just stick a small flat screwdriver and just pop this out. It should easily come out. And then once you get that out, you have two bolts, Allen bolts, which goes in here. There's caps on here. Pop these caps out. Once you get these caps out, stick an Allen five sixteenth in there and then just lefty loosey, righty tighty. Get this out. Once you get this out, just gonna wiggle this out upwards and then this should fairly easy pop out and just rest it on top. That's what I did. You can grab a bucket and rest it on the side, uh, your preference. Once you do that, you wanna go ahead and take the, use a 60 millimeter uh, socket to get the bracket out. Uh, if you're replacing the rotor, if you are not, if you're just replacing the uh, pads, obviously you get the pads out, push the piston in uh, with a uh, piston tool, a uh, brake piston tool. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, once you get that uh, pushed in, install the pads, basically a reverse as how you took it out. And then install the, the two bolts uh, that goes on the caliper. And they're about 22, 25, I think. It's the torque spec on the from uh, BMW. Uh, for the brake uh, caliper, uh, the bracket, it's 81 from factory. And uh, just make sure you have a proper to, uh, torque wrench to use and to install those bolts to a factory spec. Um, and then obviously I did this side uh, already. I am completing the other side. I just wanted to just make a quick video on exactly how to do a brake job for a 428i. Where it's very, very simple. If you have the knowledge of, um, you know, just working with the basic tools and, and you don't want to go ahead through BMW to, you know, I, I think over a grand to do a brake job uh, from through BMW and you're trying to save money. Um, this is very easy. Obviously, this setup that I bought it was from Rock Auto. This is a performance one. This uh, other ones are cheaper, depending on how what your budget is. This was around 400 something. Uh, yeah, about 400 something for the front and back pads, rotors, uh, with the sensors included. Um, so, I mean, again, you can go cheaper depending on you know where you buy it. Uh, it's all your preference. Um, if you have never done a brake job on it, and you're trying to save money, not trying to spend a lot of money at the dealership or even at an auto shop. You can do it at yourself. Uh, just make sure you have proper jacks. I have a quick jack. Um, just make sure that when you're using a jack, there is a jack point here. Uh, and technically, they don't have with the BMWs. They don't have a jack stand spot to put. Uh, just a jack. Just a jack point. Uh, just make sure you have some kind of jack underneath here. Uh, obviously, these have a lot of plastic stuff. Uh, I don't like it. Um, just try to find a spot. Uh, you can try to put, even put it uh, underneath. You know, uh, one of these spots where there's you know obviously it's a frame you want to look for a frame 
Uh, so, yeah, just be careful when you're doing it. Uh, safety's first. You know, it's not wor worth risking your life. Uh, if you have never done it, if you've never used a jack, just be careful. Uh, obviously, I'm using a quick jack. Um, this is, you know, for my convenience, helpful for me because I obviously did four brake job, uh, full brake job on this, uh, and I needed the car up a lift, and it's easier for me to use. Um, so, um, yeah, and just on this side, just wanted to mention there is a sensor on here. I haven't taken the full sensor, the bracket out. There is a sensor on this pad. There's one on the right, each side uh, of the car. There's on the rear passenger, you are gonna have the rear sensor on this side. On the front, it's gonna be on the driver's side, I believe. Uh, there's two sensors on the car. When you're ordering it, if, you know, they say, oh yeah, there's sensors on the car. Don't think that there's gonna be four sensors on, you know, it, basically each wheel is not gonna have a sensor. It's only gonna be one on the rear passenger, and I believe the driver's side, if I recall, has a sensor uh, for the brakes. Um, just be careful when you pick it for taking it out, just reroute it. Uh, for this particular one, the wire's right here, going around, around and to the caliper, uh, the brake pad. And it's right behind here, I believe this is a 10 millimeter. Just pop this out, you don't need to take everything else out. Uh, just pop this out, just enough where you can just get in there, pop the clip out, and just, and just install a new one. Very, fairly easy. This should take you about maybe an hour if you take your time. If you're rushing it, don't. Uh, but take your time, enjoy, uh, learn. Um, it's very very easy uh, set up I, like I said 16 millimeter 516 uh, Allen key for the caliper uh, this is a 6 millimeter for this uh, and obviously for the lug nuts for the wheels it's 17 millimeter um, a lot of the times these calipers at the rotors are stuck on here so just make sure you put a, a bolt in here the lug nut bolt in here you can use a mallet and just hammer hit it right here and just turn the wheel hit it uh, enough where this you can see this slightly pop out and then just push it back in and use your hand to grab it uh, pull it out evenly so that way the in inside e-brake setup is not damaged or anything like that so um, I was trying to make a video step by step earlier uh, firstly I kept getting phone calls and I couldn't record it on my phone because it was getting uh, too many phone calls so just wanted to make a small quick video uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave some comments and subscribe I will be making more videos going forward on different brake jobs or different car stuff that I, uh, I work on uh, in the future. Obviously, I do have a, uh, do a Mercedes C300 that I'll be working on uh, soon. So I'll be doing a full brake job set up on, uh, you know, basically a video on from the front, from a video on the back. Uh, step by step, uh, tools needed um, and the torque specs required for to, you know, factory torque specs and just, you know, a full complete brake job. So, you know, for people who's trying to save money, uh, not trying to go through a dealership or trying to do it yourself. Uh, this is just to help. Again, you're, you know, uh, just a full disclaimer, you know, I hold no responsibility on what you do to your car. I'm just telling, showing you exactly how a brake job is done. I'm not responsible for anything that you do to your car and any damage to your car. Uh, just, it's just to help uh, understand how a brake job is done. Um, thank you again. Uh, leave, uh, leave a comment if you need, have any questions. Hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, have a wonderful day.